last seven days. And there is a reason that you burn. Uh, it's, it's good to burn long leaf pine uh, forest. Now Tim says he's got a forest of eight trees in his yard of long leaf pine. He can't burn them when they're still growing. So you see, he's got a different opinion. And he's probably mowing around the trees exactly too. Right? Right. But, but then there's other, the other point of it is, is here you got a beautiful city with flowers everywhere, and right in the middle you got a park down going down to the pier. It's got weeds, you know, this high. Now. I take pictures of wildflowers. I got a whole album that I used to take when I was expecting all over the county. And I love wildflowers. And so when I told Mackey, I, I uh, called it, I was head of the committee, was that we want to sit down and talk to him now. So I was thinking that we could take and have a wildflower demonstration out on uh, Cadillac 44 and that piece of land out there and, and keep that kind of nice. Well, that didn't go over to you. <laughs> My only thing is we're and burning in the middle of town, burn. and we don't want anybody else to burn in town. And that's just a beautiful thing. And all I want to do is look at the options. That's you right. know, I'm not saying to not whatever, but as of right now, I get more complaints about the looks of that. Either people don't like how it looks, or doesn't. I mean, I hear more negative on that one spot than anywhere else in town. Isn't there something that says you can't cut it or take care of it? No. As we own it, it's deeded to us. Yeah, they said it didn't need to give a deed back to them, you know, and that didn't do it. But we, we want to <coughs> work with them and find out. Well, there was a committee like for them. I thought our dice had a good I idea. I thought you were going to bring this to the tree board. We are. We're going to bring it to the tree board. Not to hear that the tree board. Well, they want to know what's going on. That, that's information. He, 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 so he did said, ask if we want to hear Yeah. I asked you, and you said, yeah. Art says, let's get a brass bus and get all that people around there in the neighborhood who don't like to burn and take them away for an hour and burn it and bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that probably worked. But anyway, that's just a bone contention that uh, the neighborhood burning. I like to burn myself, but uh, we can't burn the city. Well, all the way of doing it, step outside at night, you can smell it. Uh, so they're going to come in two weeks. Well, I don't know whether they're coming here. We're going to have a committee meeting with the tree committee. Okay. The tree committee. Bobby Green sent me an email. They have to be put on the agenda, on our work session agenda, in two weeks. I did. I, I have no reason why not. No, no. <laughs> we got to get it out. Oh, we got to get it come to a head. It's festive. Okay. I said we use inmates. Huh? I said we use inmates. Inmates. Yeah, use a clean up. Make an ongoing project for anybody to keep that thing cleaned up. Well, Tim's got a good idea. But, you know, people walk, walk through there. Of course, you can walk through there now. Now, it's not handicapped accessible because you got to push over a pine straw, you know. But leaving it natural like that, I don't think there's no problem with that. But there's places to sit and read and everything. And, you know, before it was rolled over with uh, a big azalea bushes in you don't know what was behind behind us there, you bush you know. He was in there, so uh, potential inmates. Huh? Potential inmates. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have the pluses and minuses. I mean, I, it's everything. All I ask the question, and I can't get anybody to answer. You mean to tell me there's no other way for the long week pine to grow unless you burn the crop? That's because not if that's true, everywhere in town that has long week pines that are growing. They're not all in people's yards. They're everywhere. So, actually, my father worked for the Conservation Department. And if we were riding along the road when I was 10 years old and we saw a fire, we jumped out and tried to put it out. You don't see them in forest fires anymore. They're all prescribed burns. And they burn for a good reason. The nutrients back, clear it out. I'm not arguing that. Well, we, we, that's what we're going to do, Jim, is to get both sides of the story. And I just want to make sure we're going to keep burning it off and make sure the citizens understand because if I lived across the street, you know, every time we turned up, it was burned off. And then you got, I've had two people call say it's a health problem. And, you know, on our ordinance, the fire chief has to shut it down if they, somebody complains it's a health. There's just a lot of things going on there. And I think either we're going to have to educate the public from now on, that's all it's ever going to look like. Yeah. Or we're going to have to. Uh, but that's what's going on. Yeah. 
Well, this anyway, we're, we're just talking about getting them in here to present to us. So let's get them in here to present to us in a couple of weeks, yeah, and then we can. Let's have a little bit. And then we can more decision. debate about yeah, it's, what we do from there. It's um, all the things you have to worry about, I don't think that's high on the radar screen. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's a, it's a fall on your side, and a lot of people's, because of the unkempt looking condition. So let's get it head on and see what we do about it. Okay. Well, let's move on. I know another uh, piece of